I'm starting my first series! Welcome to Trailer Review, where I watch the trailer for a movie that I haven't seen and break them down and review them. Today, a friend suggested that I watch the trailer for the movie Rubber. Um, I haven't seen it, so I said yes. I am super excited to get into this. So here's my review for the movie trailer for Rubber. So first we see the desert. Um, a bunch of trash is on the ground and it looks all junky. Everything's covered in sand because it's a desert. And you notice a tire. It rises out of the sand like some kind of rubber zombie and casually rolls away. His name is Robert. And he's a little tire with big dreams. He's rolling down the road in the first scene and he gets pulled over by cops. The music changes. He slowly turns to face the cops and then he starts to vibrate. He vibrates, and then poof, one of the cops' heads blows up. Of course, they cut it out so it's not so violent. So after that, the cops are after them, and the chief is trying to explain to his crew that they are going after a tire. Robert ends up outside of a hotel room with, that has its door open, and he rolls up to the door, and there's a woman standing inside. Robert then kills a bird. Dramatic music starts. The tire is peeping at the woman, and then there's this kid peeping. So the cops come up with this plan to use the woman that the tire seems to be infatuated with to lure him in to de defeat him. And it seems like it might work at first. Robert sitting outside of a junkyard where they're burning tires, and then they show a kid watching Robert go into a hotel room, and there's a tire in the shower. So she grabs the tire and throws it out of the hotel room. Probably because she thinks it's just a piece of junk. Title card, Robert. Then they flash a bunch of scenes. Robert blows up the mannequin's head. You know, the one I mentioned before. End trailer. My first thought was I have got to watch this movie. I'm not gonna do it every time because I know that there are gonna be some really, probably very boring movies to watch. But if I like a trailer enough, I will definitely watch it and review it at the same time that I review the trailer. Of course, after I've done my trailer review and I can kind of make predictions as to how it's going to go. So my biggest problem with the trailer was that I feel like they gave away too much information. They pretty much gave me the whole movie in one two minute clip. I feel like I'll still enjoy it because of the whole, you know, Tyre is the main protagonist thing, but it definitely takes away points because of that. Overall, the trailer was great. It was a little confusing at times because of how fast all the scenes were going, it was kind of hard to keep up. and. You know, me, I overanalyze everything, so I watched it like three or four times and there were things that I didn't catch before when I watched it the first time. But, the trailer did do what it was supposed to do and make me want to watch the movie, so that's what I'm going to do. First, some key points, what I think is going to happen in the movie. Before I go watch the movie, I'd like to do some pre-movie points where I list off a couple of things that I think is going to happen in the movie. And then, when once I watch the movie, I will decide how much I got right. I have two points for this movie, actually. My first prediction is that the cops are just really dumb and it's not going to catch the tire. My second point, and this is more from gathering information from the little clips that they were showing, I think that the tire is in love with this woman and he's going to follow her until she rejects him. And once she rejects him, he's gonna get depressed go to the junkyard, and then throw himself in with the rest of the tires, to, never to be seen again. Which is a depressing thought, and I really hope that it doesn't end that way, but we'll have to see. Overall, I give the trailer a 6 out of 10. Now I'm gonna go watch the movie. Uh, I was wrong. So it's like the next day, and I just watched the movie for the third time, I am super happy with it. Uh, I definitely misjudged the trailer. Um, I thought that it had given a lot away, and it had not. Um, the whole premise of the movie was was that there was this audience watching all of this transpire, and the audience was inside the movie with the characters of the movie, and could even interact with the characters if they so choose. I don't want to spoil the movie, but it was uh, really, really good. Goofy slash 
pointless slash funny. It's funny and there's no point. No reason to the whole movie. It's just a movie about a tire for no reason. And it was really good. I watched it on the Tubi app. Um, T-U-B-I uh, app. So if you want to go watch it, you can go watch it for free on the app. Not sponsored. Um, I'll put a link in the description down below for you to go watch that if you so please. It's classified as a horror comedy. Um, and there's definitely some scenes of violence. Like actual people's heads are exploding. And there's some animals that... Of course, it's not real. It's a movie. You should know this. But if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff, you may not want to watch uh, this movie in particular. Thank you so much for watching. Send me an email if you have an idea for a trailer I should watch and uh, include your username. If you know of a place where I could watch the movie, if you feel like I might want to watch the movie, go ahead and tell me where I can watch the movie so that I can look it up and, and try to find it. So thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!